Hello, welcome to Gameplay by Ardovich. This is episode 3 of Tree of Life by Odd One Games. Uh, the last video here, we made our way over, got right to this little marshland area, and I know we wanted to head over this way. Um, I will say, uh, I've been playing my uh, American version of the game a little bit, just to kind of get a little more experience. And I got over here, and it's really not a too exciting. Uh, I do want to still show it, but um, I think I want to settle somewhere different than this area here. Uh, what I might do is go ahead and find a place somewhere over here, maybe like down here to settle, and then we'll explore up here. So why don't we go ahead and just work our way down uh, towards this lake here, and we'll settle in this area. I'll we'll grab these vines here real quick. Head south, show off this, uh, the land here first, and then head over that lake. Alright, not gonna get up that hill. Dude's hungry. There we go. So I found that the water is really good for uh, if you're wanting to sprint long distances. Uh, mainly because it helps you build up your, or rebuild your stamina. So we'll sprint, drink some water, sprint a little more, drink some water. Uh, I do kind of want to show this area a little bit. I have not been in this part of the world before, but um, it doesn't look too much different until we get over that sanded area. Actually, like dead in the middle of this area, and it's not really much different, so I guess not much to see here, huh? Let's go find our lake. Say about this direction here. May or may not go the way I hope. Oh. There we go. Almost dead though, so... Yeah. We do have flax, don't we? Have a little bit of flax. Enough to make one linen cloth. So we can at least heal ourselves a little bit. Let's see if there's a workbench in here. Bench, but it's cactus or something. Yeah. yeah, we don't need water. There's probably a workbench somewhere in there, but. on our journey here. Mm -hmm. 
So I have noticed uh, a little more lately that there's been some more lag. I don't know if that's because uh, there's a few players on or if there's be it's, if it's because I'm on the uh, European server right now, but I did have some issues with it on the American server as well. Not as bad as what we're kind of seeing right now anyway. So this is about where I want to be here. Um, so we're heading in the right direction. I just don't know if I'm going to be jumping off the cliff here in a second or not. This guy has some flax available. Do really need flax. Sorry, man. You're not online, so I need it more than you do. I don't think we need the wheat. Yeah, we don't need wheat. All right, so here is where we wanted to be. It looks like there's quite a few player towns here already. Kind of wish all that wasn't there because that's kind of where I'd like to build mine. Let's go scope the area out. I do want to see if there's any falling damage. I know the guy screams when he a little bit, but let's test it. Okay, so there's no falling damage. Well, there's enough space for us to build a house here. Um, we'd never be able to grow it into a village, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, I kind of like this area right on the right on the lake. Got a nice little sunset. Let's go ahead and start setting up shop here. So the first thing we're gonna want is. A workbench. You need carpenter two and ten firewood to be able to make the workbench. Um, let's build a bonfire so that we can level up our carpenter. And we need a bonfire anyway, so I'm gonna put the bonfire right next to the lake because I'm hipster like that. Uh, 
Oh. This just looks like it's about as close as I can get it. And it didn't level us up, so... What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna take the firewood back out of this place. Make another one. Oh, actually. Oh, it did level us up. Must have missed that. Well, still needed the firewood anyway. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and put the carpenter bench. right here for now. Make us some linen cloth. The linen pieces, I guess, not cloth. There are linen cloths later on, so it's a different resource. I use those to make clothing. Bandages get us up to full health. Baked carrots. So the one downside about this area is there's not much forest. Um, so it's going to be a little harder to get wood resources, but that's fine. We can always walk a little out with firewood. Found my bonfire. There it is. I know we have some meat here to cook, so let's go ahead and cook that. Give us a little bit of light, too. I know I have matches, but um, matches have limited uses. It only takes a few twigs to craft a torch, so... Go ahead and use our torch to light this fire. Oh. Fortunately, it's not close enough to the lake to be all cool, but whatever. It's close enough, I guess. Don't need a torch while we're by the campfire here. Keep eating because I want to clear out my inventory a little bit here. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, eventually, we want to make ourselves um, a little survival tent. It looks like we have to get our carpentry up a little bit before we can do that. So, need level three carpentry. Guess we can make a few more campfires. right there. So we're going down the beach here. Can't see anything. I'm going to go ahead and just wait to place it. the firewood out of this one so I can craft another one. Essentially these campfires are almost free to craft. It takes two twigs and six firewood, but you get your firewood back because it's used as fuel. Uh, so really only costs two twigs to make a bonfire. soon enough. wonder if it'll take longer for uh, daylight to hit where we're at because of the mountains over there. What is that? Okay, so that's those little peaks there. Looks like there's some hot springs too. If there's anything good in the hot springs, it might be fun to have a house up in the hot springs, right? Canyon and a forest area down here. So I can start to see ground now. There we go. Now we're carpenter three. Got a few campfires across the uh, lake here. All right, now we want to make defense assembly sets until we get to carpentry five, and that'll let us build the survival tents so that we can finally store some stuff. Um, second. All right, so we need three firewood per fence set. Let's see how much we can get here. Let's 
I don't really care about this torch, so I'm just gonna let it stay out until it burns out. And we are going to go ahead and replant this tree, but I kind of want to keep it further away from our place. Uh, the reason is, on the American server that I'm playing on, and I built myself a little homestead, there was almost no enemies uh, by where I was building my stuff, uh, like NPC enemies. And I started planting trees around it, so I could have lumber close by and it seemed like the more trees there were the more NPCs that spawned um, and it actually got to the point where I just couldn't keep up with all the NPCs that were around and uh, every night I'd have to fight four or five different enemies and they would destroy my stuff faster than I could build it so um, we'll go ahead and plant these trees around other people's stuff and let the NPCs clear out the uh, other players for us. These trees might be too small. Um, they look fairly young, so we'll leave them for now and harvest them when they get a little bigger. Looks like we might have to have our water equipped here just to help us with, uh, with our stamina. Jackpot on that one. And there was what I'm talking about for lag. Uh, I hit the button like six times and it just wouldn't pick anything up for a good 10 seconds. Alright, I think we have enough lumber for a few, uh, a few fence pieces anyway. So it'll give us a nice start. Looks like we'll be able to craft about six of these pieces, I think.
So I might actually go ahead and run my fence this way. Actually, I can't run it diagonally, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. I just want to kind of mark my territory a little bit right now while leveling up Carpenter to 5. Let's set boundaries over on this side here. This part of the game is actually really tedious. It's a bit of a grind. If you don't mind the grind, then you'll actually find this enjoyable. Uh, if you hate the grind, you're probably going to hate the game. Let's see how far out we want to put this here. Actually a lot of space right there, so... We'll go ahead and run fence all the way up here. We'll cross over this way and then run it back down there, and then this will be our little homestead area here. Um, if you're trying to build something really big like that, it's obviously not enough space, but something just for myself is going to be plenty. Um, I could always, you know, if some of the people who watch this want to team up and maybe make a village, we could always find another place on this map to... Uh, build something or you know, maybe even just take over more of the space. You know, maybe another player comes in, destroys all his stuff over there, and uh, you know, he builds there, and another person builds up that way, another person there, and then eventually we'll just kind of connect them all or something. Uh, and that's if anyone actually really wants to play this game with me. Uh, if you do, leave a comment in the comment section and we'll try to find a way to team up or something. So I will say that one thing I really wish you could do is place the torches on the ground. Um, that way I can provide myself with a nice lit area to work over here and not have to just burn it all the time overnight waiting for sun to come up. Uh, it is early access so I'm sure they'll be adding things and if there's a developer who happens to watch this. Uh, I would greatly appreciate something like that put in.
Alright, so we're Carpenter 5 now. Um, so I'm just going to place this kind of in line with this. Line up. Let's go ahead and take some time to. So do I have enough lumber to make a survival turn? Do. I'm going to place it this way. I think that this is all. Alright, so what this is going to do is going to drop the bass and then. Um, really bad music references might pop up from that, I'm sure. Uh, and then we'll have to use four firewood and four straps to complete the building, so... So let's... Oh, I got that rare strap. Let's just get rid of this stupid rare strap here. Now all we need is the firewood. Um, I have four of my inventory here. Alright, so we're going to have a nice little tent that we can drop all our stuff in. Well, not all of our stuff, but some of it. There's different levels of this building, um, as we've kind of seen from other player cities. Uh, this one being the lowest level one, it only has 16 spots here. Uh, but for now, that's enough. So I want to keep my linen on me since I can use it to make the bandages. So we almost have a completely clear inventory. Where are these stupid apples? I dropped that last bonfire, but I don't know if I cleared the firewood out of it. Can't see it to find out. Make a torch, I guess. Oh. Actually, six firewood that I forgot about. Us.
this is the next thing we want to make. We'll, I'm sure at some point we'll want to finish off our fencing. Um, we are probably going to want to make a shovel so we can dig up some dirt and then use the dirt to make the fields. That way we can plant more flax or food. Uh, the hay, I'm guessing, is for feeding your animals. And since we don't have any animals right now, we don't need to do that. Uh, flour, we don't have anything built to cook yet with. Um, the field, that's what I was talking about. Uh, the locks. Um, any player who's been playing for at least a little while, they're going to probably have the capability to make lock picks, and if they really want to get your stuff, they'll get it. Uh, we'll put them on there, but uh, in my other file, I put locks on my thing, logged back in the next day, and locks were broken, so um, they're not really that useful. There are upgraded versions of the locks, and those might actually make a little more sense to put on, but uh, I don't know. Right now, I'm probably not that important to use. There's also guild locks, so you can create a guild with this little thing here, and upper levels of this is like a guild hall. Um, anyone in the guild will be able to access uh, like inventories or structures or whatever that have this on it, whereas this only allows the one player to access it. Um, so those are the difference between those locks. The paper, um, once we get a little more higher level, we'll have a workbench that focuses more our on uh, constructing buildings, I guess. And the paper, it's paper and I think, um, oh, I forget what it was. I think actually like one of the things was charcoal. Uh, I don't remember really. We'll see it here in a little while, I'm sure. Um, the arrows, this is what you're gonna put in your arrow towers to defend your little property. Um, this is, we've had this for a while, the fertilizer field, and then the cold medicine for livestock that we've also had, which I'm not sure why you start the game with this skill, considering you need cooking of 15. Um, I think actually, yeah, it's always been in the workbench here, so, yeah, I'm not really sure why, uh, why that would be unlocked right now when we're not, we don't even have one level in cooking, so... But it is daytime, and I did say that I wanted to work on some other stuff, so what was it I wanted to work on? Probably more fences to level up our carpentry so that we can build more stuff. And then when it gets towards the end of the day period, I'll make a shovel. That way I can just stand there in one spot while we can't see anyway and uh, just dig up a bunch of dirt. Pieces. Um, I wonder how many this is going to be. In my other game, I made a uh, 16 by 16 little lot and ended up not being as much space as I thought it would be, so I might have to expand our borders here a little bit once we get it built and see what we're working with, but for now, I think it's okay.
eating baked maggots. So I know we didn't get that much firework, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and come back and get a couple of made. Um, go ahead and take this dude out now just to get it out of the way. A lot of maggots. Nice, dropped a sword too. Or a knife anyway. Trying to clear the land up a little bit. Go ahead and pick up the twigs and just throw them in the little <clears throat> bonfires that way. If we ever need to cook something, we got some in there. Or if I just feel like having a random fire.
stuff around his place. <laughs> some linen cloth in here for us so that we can, uh, make ourselves a shirt. Uh, my sewing's not high enough level yet. Alright, we'll get it there. A few more bandages. Walls. This is the, uh, one of the upgraded versions of our little hut. We will uh, have a little bit of a penalty if we steal from this, but I mean that's 15 firewood. Go ahead and take the water though. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the. I guess you can only take one thing at a time, apparently, from the uh, each building. Something killed us. Oh, I did not even see that guy. Did we drop anything? Doesn't look like we dropped anything this time. Put together some of these soul pieces here. That's not what I wanted to do. Wasn't even paying attention. Uh, when it gets darker, we'll go ahead and light that fire. on the second hut for now. Uh, the system table here is what I was talking about as far as building more advanced uh, like plans. The uh, furnace here, actually, 
Let me get a fence down while I still have a little bit of light. And then once it's pitch black, then we'll go through some of the menus here. I'll get one more before I can't see. That looks like it's about as much as uh, much as I'm gonna do until I get more light. Okay, so uh, there's a furnace here that we've unlocked because we've leveled up Carpenter a little bit. Um, all the furnaces is an upgraded version of the bonfire. Uh, it probably cooks stuff faster, but honestly, I, it doesn't put off as much light. So I kind of like the bonfire better. Uh, this here, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and build one. Oh, can't build one. <laughs> Not level 7 yet for carpentry. Um, so it'll have other more advanced buildings for us to make. Uh, we can make a, uh, this is a shabby tower. This is what shoots your arrows out. It's the first kind of level of the archer tower. Um, yeah, we have the resources to make it, but not the level. Uh, then we've had those as well. So let's go ahead and head over and cook our maggots so we have more to eat. apples. So the apples, it, when you bake them, they're okay, and mainly because they refill your stamina a little bit, but I mean, we have water here, so all I gotta do really is just, there. Now I have water if I ever need stamina, and then I can just eat to refill my hunger. So, I mean, really, the apples are really worthless. Another reason I wanted to be by the lake here, other than waterfront property, is we can fish from here, so uh, there's really no need to go out hunting for food if we can fish for enough of it. All of our maggots are cooked, so let's Hoods off for now. Where it burns out, I'll put them back on. There we go. Our torch is about to go out too. Put our linen straps back. Or not linen straps, but durable straps. And it's probably only like the 20th time I've mispronounced that in the three videos I've made. We are going to need another tent here soon, because this was cool. Food in our stomach. Not gonna have a or any more cloth, but at least we have an extra bandage here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the bandage I have now just to get us back up to near full health. 
has some extra twigs, so we can go ahead and throw those in the other fire uh, bonfire here. Maybe one of these nights I'll just fill all these with like 30 twigs each, and then just light them, and just let them burn. Um, not much I could do until the sun comes up, which it's getting close. enough food for now. Looks like there's an NPC up there beating up the stone walls a little bit. Um, that's, I'm assuming that's kind of this game's way of keeping land clear. Uh, you know, if I was to log out for three or four days, this would all be gone. Uh, this guy over here, he's probably got about another I don't know, a week or so until that's gone. And then the guy out there that's got like the city built, that's gonna take forever for NPCs to take it out. Um, especially if he still has arrows in those towers, which, um, I don't know, the shark wasn't attacking his stuff, so that's probably why the shark was being left alone. But I'm sure if I was to go up there and just punch a wall or something, I'd get shot in the face. Like I did that one time. <laughs> uh, this wall here we looked before. I must have completely been oblivious to what was around us because I don't remember this wall. Looks like we have orange trees over here. Oh, the tomatoes. So I could gather the soul pieces and get my soul back up, but honestly, there's, there's really nothing in the game that uses soul except for when you're a ghost, and um, your pre-existing soul does nothing for ghost mode, so really it's just better off to leave the soul pieces on the ground just in case you die, and then when you die, you can pick them up. Items that you leave on the ground, like if I was to uh, leave that sapling there or the apples that I throw on the ground, after about a day they despawn. So it's not like you can throw something on the ground and just leave it there for storage or uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, if there's something you don't want in your inventory, just throw it on the ground and it stays there so it clutters up your space. Uh, you only have to deal with it for a little bit of time. Go ahead and replant these trees. 
uh, just in case they do spawn enemies. We can keep enemies on this wall here. Uh, looks like this area is actually almost taken out. Um, with, you know, this little wall segment anyway. So, clears up more space for us and assuming no one else comes along and builds on it. Um, we have this over here as well that you know, hopefully gets taken care of. That's actually originally where I wanted to build my little homestead, but someone decided to go ahead and put walls up and looks like they didn't do anything else but that. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could go over and just take them out myself, but considering I'm not geared, and, wow, three logs. Um, considering I'm not geared and not leveled up, it would take forever for me to take one wall out. So we'll just let the NPCs keep beating up on it for now, and we'll go ahead and do our own thing. Sometime in the future, maybe claim that land. Oh, I was beating up the seedling. I actually was going to replant that seedling, but I guess I'm not nature friendly, huh? Seventeen firewood on me. It's about halfway through the day. We'll go ahead and take these two trees out and then call it a day as far as logging. And then go back and put up more fencing. See how much fence we can get around our property there before we run out of wood. Drywood trees are amazing for wood.
Alright, so once I get all this picked up, we'll go back and make some fences. I have a lot of firewood, so we'll be able to get a good chunk of this done. Not all of it, unfortunately, but a good chunk. pick this workbench up and move it, but oh, I'm lazy. Maybe I'll do that at night when I can't see. In fact, everything I've built, except for the campfires, can be picked up and replaced. Um, and if you ever have an NPC come up and beat up some of your fence, or beat up in something, uh, you can pick it up and then put it back down, and it completely repairs it. Uh, so far, that's the only way to repair stuff that I've found. And we're level 7 carpenter now, so I could make that workbench and show you. Okay, this can't be picked up. I'm sorry, I was mistaken about that, but the fences and the workbench can. Um, I'm going to make fences until I can't see anymore, and then if I have enough resources, then I'll make the, uh, uh, the other workbench, wherever that went. Looks like they destroyed that fence. Why can't I target this guy? Well, since they took out the fence posts, there's a uh, Nothing else there for them to attack, so they won't bother us anymore tonight, I don't think. This guy will, though. He's got two of our campfires. Okay, so, um, it does look like the soul actually does reduce the amount of time you're a ghost. Uh, with a full bar of soul, you start off only having a minute and a half of ghost time. Uh, whereas this time, it looks like we had like two and a half, three minutes or so. Uh, so I guess it does kind of... Destroyed our workbench. It does help to have a full soul bar, I guess, but it took less time for me to go around and collect a few pieces to get rid of my ghost timer than it did to uh, collect enough soul to fill up the bar.
it would be nice um, there was something that you guys kind of get a sense that stuff's going to spawn around um, that way you don't have random stuff spawning in the middle of your stuff like we just did um, I guess it's whatever All the stuff that's on the ground from the destroyed things. There's firewood here somewhere. Had some firewood. Looks like my firewood despawned. That sucks. A lot of firewood. Okay, so, here's the items that you can make with the drawing table. You can make a well. Uh, small building kits, not really sure what that is. And then a uh, architectural lighting kit. So maybe uh, we can make something that lights up the area. What level did you need to be to make that? Eight. Okay. Uh, maybe the next episode of this uh, series will make that and see what it does. Two more fence pieces, and we'll have this side of the fence done. Corner piece now, and then we're done with that.
Oh. Uh, um, so I think that's probably enough for this video. I'll pick back up in the next video, assuming not everything's destroyed here. Um, and that's kind of the problem with just starting off here, uh, especially if you're by yourself. Um, if you have people helping you make stuff, it goes a little quicker, you can get built up, have more people farming resources, so it makes it a little easier. Um, but if you're just doing this by yourself, you're going to have the NPCs spawn up and take out a lot of the stuff that you've built. Uh, it just makes it kind of a pain in the ass. But, uh, you know, once you get something like, you know, that over there built, it's usually pretty solid and easier to defend. Um, I bet if I was to log out for two or three days, all of this, most of this anyway, if not all of it, would be gone because of the NPCs. Um, players generally aren't going to come around and just destroy all your, all your stuff. Um, they might steal from you, but they're probably not going to just destroy it. Um, yeah. We did get part of our fence made. Uh... It'd probably take another three or four in-game days to finish the fence. Uh, like I said, it's a grind. It takes quite a bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this series or end the end this episode, not the series, but this episode here. And we'll wait about a day or two, and we'll come back and see how much of this is left. Um, probably have to start all over, but. Uh, It'll be a good thing to test out just to see how quickly it gets demolished when there's no defenses. Um, I would build an archer tower and put it up to try to defend stuff, but honestly, uh, I had an archer tower before and one enemy took out the archer tower without dying. So, you know, you get how we had two people attacking that fence the archer tower be gone and then just it takes so much resources to build the archer tower for one enemy to just take it out that I'm not even going to bother I'll just save what we have uh, hopefully this is still standing since all our stuff's in it um actually matter of fact let me get the important stuff out of here uh, actually I'll just take all of it out for now Especially since there's no lock on it. There. If it's still here when we get back, then yay. If not, eh, whatever. Uh, so this is episode 3 of Tree of Life by Odd One Games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Got to show you a little bit of the uh, starting of making a little homestead. And how much of a pain it can be to get it started. Um, like I said, I will wait about a you know, day or two. Uh, oh, there's another player right there. Wait another day or two. See if he kills me. Uh, come back and see how much of this is left. And um, if none of it's left, then just find somewhere else to go. Uh, settle somewhere else, I guess. But... I wanted to see if he killed me or anything, or if he's gonna try to steal stuff. There's nothing in there to steal, so he's probably just gonna make himself some food or something. Yeah, he's just gonna make himself some food. That's nice of him.
What's this? Grow a chunk of fresh fish. Or fish flesh. Okay. Wonder what he dropped on the ground. Oh, fishing rod. I already have a fishing rod. Okay, uh, so that's, that. we'll go ahead and end the video there. Um, didn't expect someone to come running up. But, uh, yeah, so episode 3 of Tree of Life by Add One Games. Thank you for watching Gameplay by Ardubich. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment if there's anything in here you'd like to see or see in another game. Thank you for watching.